Investors holding on to the greenback or assets denominated in the US dollar should be laughing all the way to the bank. Philip Futures Forex strategist Simon Teo explains. I think there's only one currency that is ended in 214 in the positive, which is the US dollar, mainly because of three reasons. We can see that unemployment is recovering pretty well in the US. That actually triggers the Federal Reserve to do the tapering of the QE. So next, they are expecting interest rate in US to increase as well. So all this reason actually is pushing the US dollar higher into the year end. But on the other end of the scale, the Japanese might be looking rather gloomy, says Jonathan Kavanagh, foreign exchange strategist at Westpac Banking. The yen has been the weakest performer against the dollar, uh, and that's really reflected the fact that the Bank of Japan has eased monetary policy quite aggressively. However, he adds that the Singapore dollar is not the weakest link this year, despite slipping against the USD. What I would describe as kind of middle of the range. So if you rank all of the Asian currencies in terms of their returns against the dollar this year. The Singapore currency sits about, you know, slightly below the midpoint. So it's fallen year to date 3.7% against the dollar. Now, the yen has fallen close to 11% against the dollar. The ringgit has fallen close to just over 6%. But it's places like the Philippines, places like India, etc. They've generally seen a better currency performance against the dollar relative to the Singapore currency. As the US Federal Reserve looks likely to raise interest rates sometime next year, the head of forex trading at Saxo Capital Markets, Jeffrey Haley, expects the greenback to remain robust. We'll see a stronger dollar into 2015 as it's clearly overperforming, as evidenced by the, the recent data that's been coming out of the United States. But inflation does remain benign, so maybe the market's getting slightly ahead of itself as to when the Fed will actually start raising interest rates. But certainly I think some of the emerging currencies around the world are going to come under some significant pressure if and when the United States starts hiking rates. Mr Teo of Philip Future says it's the same picture for the Sing dollar. For next year, I would think that Sing dollar should peak around 1.36 to 1.38 levels, most likely before the second quarter of next year. And then probably will be consolidating after that drought until the end of the year. But Westpac's Mr. Kavanaugh is not as bearish on the local currency. He expects the US dollar to hit a high of one sing dollar 33 cents by the middle of next year before falling to around one sing dollar 28 cents at year end. This is due to his brighter outlook expectations for China. If we continue to see a slowdown in terms of Chinese economic momentum, then there is a risk that that could feed into weaker economic growth outcomes in Asia, and that will really leave global investors more reluctant to invest capital into this part of the world. We're probably a bit more optimistic um, that the Chinese outlook can maybe look better than what the market is expecting, and that should limit the fallout for Asian currencies. Analysts at the management of the Singapore dollar exchange rate by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, or MAS, should also provide some support for the currency.